Okay, so in today's video, I want to talk about trying to find the max volume that I can turn my uh, cell phone and head unit, the max volume um, before it starts to distort so I can properly set the gains on my amplifier, my sub amp. Uh, I'm not really going to worry about my mids and highs. It's already it's already set and I just don't feel like messing with those speaker wires so it's going to be pretty much dealing with this but it's the same procedure as if you were to do that basically so what I want to do is Steve Mead well first off, what I was going to say was that um, Steve Mead done a video on this about 10 years ago and so I will um, Put a link to that video in the description and this was just uh i was kind of basing my video off of that one so that's it off what i have in front of is just obviously my cell phone flute multimeter and the uh dd1 and i'm going to do a whole separate video on this later uh just more of an opinion piece on it but today is going to be about setting, finding the max level that you can uh, turn your phone up without distortion. I wanted to see if I could see exactly. And what I did is I bought this lightning to RCA adapter because I wanted to hook this directly to the DD1. So, but as you'll find out in a minute, there's a little problem. You can't necessarily do it like that. Um, but I can do it through the amplifier. So, uh, I guess first things first, what I'm doing here is I've got all this, I've got everything set up, hooked up. Um, I took RCA, I took the RCA cables from out of my mids and highs. So you don't hear any speakers or any noise coming from the mids and high speakers. Uh, I unhooked the sub speakers so there's no sound going to them we don't want to we don't want to play test tones with our speakers a little bit hard with a uh um video so anyway sorry i was a little bit distracted so okay first thing i'm gonna start with is the cell phone um a couple things uh, i'm gonna look i'm gonna i've got this little top tripod that i'm gonna set down that hopefully I can get this thing to stand up while I use both hands. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is make sure that my volume is turned all the way up. So it is all the way up. And there's a couple other things. I'm gonna go into settings. Hopefully all this can be seen. Uh, I'm going to go into music and down here I have cell cellular streaming on high quality and the EQ is off. I do have sound check off too, but I want to show you with the EQ, it is sort of like the EQ on your head unit. You can do, you can pick different types of EQ. I just chose off and that looked like my, for some reason that, uh, my volume went down but in any case setting my gains finding out i'm going to cut the eq on this iphone to off make sure i have that to off i don't think the high quality matters that sets cellular streaming but the eq i wanted to make sure and also i wanted to make sure that the max level on this phone was at the max so how do I, what how I want, so how, before I go through the head unit, because we all know about the head unit, seeing where it distorts at max volume, but I want to see about this, the cell phone. This is actually what's playing the music. So the first thing I thought I would try is the, uh, you know, I've had to buy this little lightning to RCA adapter. It wasn't but like eight bucks on um, Amazon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my set this down. I'm going to plug this directly into 
the uh, the DD1 plug directly in it. I'm gonna cut the DD1 on. We have power, as you can see. Uh, well, what I'm gonna do is go to my test tones uh, files, and I am going to play. Just to show you, I have all the test tones I've downloaded from Steve Meads from the DMOR website. Uh, these are all your test tones. I'm going to start with uh, 40 hertz, 0 dB test tone. And I'm going to play it here. So it's playing through here directly into... Okay, sorry about that. I, was, I, I don't think I had this... Uh, cable plugged in the wall away but anyway so i'm going to start over 40 hertz zero db test tone and playing from my phone directly into the dd1 and all i get is a signal okay volume volume is all the way up and oops volume is all the way up and it's playing all I get is a signal now why is that well because in order for the DD1 I do get a signal but to detect uh, evidently the 40 Hertz or 1 kilohertz tones you have to have a certain amount of voltage so let's just see how much voltage is coming out of my phone with a test tone still should be able to see that there naturally and i'm getting 0.93 volts that's all the voltage is coming out of this phone so the reason that's the reason i'm not getting this is because uh according to the forums it this needs about 1.2 volts or so to start uh recognizing now that doesn't mean this can't be done but i'll have to just go through the amplifier to do that so i can still do that but i have to go through the amplifier and then i i'm going to pause it and then i'll be back uh in just a second okay so I've got everything hooked up and what we're going to notice here is first off I have my phone through the RCA plugged into the amplifier. Also to note on the amplifier now I have my gain turned all the way down. The uh, Your crossover turned all the way open so the all frequencies it's all the way to the right so the all frequencies. The infrasonic filter i have it off punch eq uh turn to minimum or off and by the way that needs to stay off all the time anyway so what we got phone directly into the amp via uh, rca dd1 into the amp via the prongs into the speaker output so now let's play since this is the sub amp i'm going to play the 40 hertz zero db tone and see what we got and if you've seen that you already seen a little bit so 40 hertz dbd uh 40 hertz test tone now we get signal the dd1 has detected the 40 hertz so now what we have to do is I hope my DD1 just didn't. Okay, I might have turned. I might have hit it or done something. By the way, these things do go through batteries, so I'll probably have to change. If it starts acting funny, it could be a low battery. But I mean, it has a low battery sensor. But either way, these things do. They 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 go through some batteries. So anyway, playing this uh, 40 hertz zero b zero bd test tone through the phone amp dd1 picks it up uh sorry somebody's texting me uh so 
is the is the volume all the way up on the phone this would be the point where you would start turning the volume up well the volume is all the way up so that means i can go full tilt um at 40 hertz dbd uh 40 hertz test tone now okay here we are uh so picks up we're full we're full volume on the phone 40 hertz test tone we're good let's play uh let's go back into the settings music and let's mess with the eq on here and let's see if by turning any of these on do we get distortion uh let's go with something like loudness okay loudness is on no distortion yet let's go to r and b now i don't know how much it equalizes this um as far as what this you know what how much it turns up and down what like it would on the eq on the head unit but it's still interesting uh let's see here's a treble booster still good actually i could hold it like this vocal booster still good there what we go what happens if we went up to classical we're good dance electronic hip-hop increased bass okay increased bass still still no distortion we're still clean there with increased bass so that's pretty interesting um that was uh okay let's go back and because i want to save some of my battery let's go back and we're gonna take that off and uh, so i think what we covered what i covered today was basically oops, cut that off i covered finding uh you know how to test if you don't want to run this you know obviously you run this to your head unit and then you use your head unit to get your uh clipping see there, there's the uh, rca from the head unit and i think i'll make a whole different video about just trying to get um head unit or getting the max undistorted volume level on the head unit um guys these videos are not scripted at all i just come out here and i just kind of i have some of it somewhat of a game plan but this is pretty much just all on the fly so sorry about the uh you know poor production quality but i don't have time to write scripts and all of that stuff i got i've got a pretty good idea about what i'm gonna do but um hopefully i didn't miss anything sometimes i'm so bad uh because i don't write scripts that sometimes i'll overstep something but i think i covered both uh i think i covered ways to find out about your cell phone and also so showed you i was also able to show you through the voltmeter at uh the the top voltage comes out of the or the voltage coming out of this which was under a volt which i never knew before and i tell you if you're interested this cable here wasn't but like eight or nine dollars off ebay if i can get the link i will put it in the video description but you know i mean for eight or nine bucks not too bad um so that's probably about going to wind it up for this video um my next video will probably be going to up here on the head unit and finding the level on that playing around with some settings and all so thank you if you stuck all the way through to the end thank you thank you for watching 